Hey everyone, can you believe that July is over and that 2015 is more than halfway over? This is just insane to me. I cannot believe how quickly time has gone by. I think I see this every single month that I talk about favorites. It's just a realization that another month has gone by and it's just insane to me how quickly that happens. But anyway, I do have a few favorites to share with you this month. And like I mentioned last month, there's not a whole lot of new stuff here. I think just the summer heat has just made me kind of lazy and made me kind of just go back and do just the normal things that I do on a daily basis. So, but I do have a few a few new favorites to share with you today. Um, so I have a few makeup items. Um, the first one is actually a concealer and this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I have this in the shade NC20. Um, I have not purchased anything from MAC in literally years, um, but they sent me an email for like $10 off an order and this was one of the items I picked up um, because I did remember really liking this and I decided to give it a try again and I do really like it. Um, I just really hate the packaging. It's a glass bottle, I mean, which is nice, um, and it does have a little pump, but I just, for the product that it is, I just don't think this is the best packaging for it. I do really like it though. I think the coverage is great. It's a really thin consistency, so it blends easily and absorbs into your skin right away. Um, it can kind of like emphasize fine lines a little bit so after I apply it I do have to go back and just make sure I like blended it in really well but I think the coverage of it is fantastic and the fact that it doesn't feel really heavy on the skin is really great as well um, I just wish the packaging was different I like the pump idea I think that that's neat but it's hard to control the product because you really don't need a lot of this and the pump kind of dispenses a little too much product so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take like a little like five gram jar and just like put a few squirts in there and just use it out of the jar so I can like close it back up again instead of like wasting so much product. But I do really like this concealer a lot so I'm glad I did try it again. Um, the next product is kind of a favorite eyeshadow or pigment this month and this is also from MAC. This is just a sample that a friend gave me a f like years ago. Like I'm not even kidding. My friend Holly, she used to do videos on here uh, and she gave me this sample and I have always loved this color and I kind of forgot about it. I'm um, just dealing with loose eyeshadows and pigments. It's kind of a little bit messy and I don't like really having a makeup bag, but I just, I fell in love with this color all over again. Again, this is chocolate brown pigment, if I didn't say, from MAC. However, let me just give you a swatch. Look how pretty that is. I just love this color so, so much. I have this all over my lids right now. So I'll take like a highlight color, my transition color, and then just this all over the lid and that's it. And it's so, so pretty. I love this and I just looked on the MAC website to see if they still had it because I was like I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of this because I do really like this a lot um, but I don't think they sell it anymore so let me know I could be wrong but I didn't see this on the MAC website which makes me kind of sad um, but yeah let me know if you guys know if I can find it anywhere else I might have to go to a CCO and see if they have any like um, old pigments over there. Um, I know you can buy samples of this like on All Cosmetics Wholesale or thebodyneeds.com so I might have to do that if I can't find it anywhere else but it's just such a gorgeous color. It's kind of like this rusty like um almost like a rusty taupey bronzy brown color. I don't know I just really like it and I don't normally pick colors that have like a reddish tint to it on like to put on my eyes but this is just gorgeous I love this color so much um the next product I'm actually wearing on my lips right now the summer months I just think it's nice to have a little bit brighter of a lip um this is the motives um what is this called the all day liquid six um this is in the color tantalize and like I said this is the color that I have on my lips right now but I'll give you guys a swatch of it Super duper creamy, super opaque, and it smells like frosting. I mean, what else is there? Like, ah! Ooh! And I just dropped it, and now there is lint and cat hair on the wand. So I will have to go wash this before I put this back in the container. But yeah, I love this. Um, it's great. Like I said, really, really pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. Like, I have to, like, wipe off the wand to get the product. So I'll put it on my lower lip, and I'll, like, um, smush my lips together, and then I'll just put a little bit on the outline, and that's it because it's super duper pigmented. I mean, yeah, it's a gorgeous color. A favorite hair product this month. This is from Living Proof. 
proof. This I actually got at Marshalls. So I got this big bottle, this 8 fluid ounce bottle um, for $16.99 at Marshalls. Um, but I believe that they actually don't make this anymore. This is from their No Frizz line. This is their styling cream. Now I got this at Marshalls like I said. This one says wave shaping, curl defining for medium to thick hair. I looked on their website and I don't actually think they make this anymore because they have just a nourishing styling cream. Like there's no like distinction between different hair types. There's just one nourishing styling cream now whereas this one is the one for wave shaping curl defining for medium to thick hair at Marshalls they had a bunch of them they had like a um, straightening one for like um, thick hair they had like a straightening one for thin hair like I mean it was just a huge selection so I think that's probably why it was at Marshalls because they're they've actually gotten rid of all the different variations and they just have one now um, but I'm glad that I found this I have to try it and I have to try because I do have a little bottle of just the regular styling cream which I do really like but normally when I use that I like end up styling or straightening my hair I don't let my hair dry but lately I've been letting my hair air dry because it has been so hot so this is what my hair looks like if I don't touch it um, it does um, have a wave to it and I feel like this really helps kind of emphasize it a little bit which I do really like because um, you know with the summer months I just kind of have I like having that like effortless like kind of beachy hair look and this is what I get like I literally got out of the shower I put a few like squirts of this all over my hair I let it like dry without I tried not to touch it if I really don't touch it at all it gets pretty curly looking um but today I did kind of mess with it a little bit so it kind of fell a little bit but I still really like it I feel like it definitely emphasizes a lot of the waves in my hair but that could also be because I just got a haircut and I had a, a bunch of layers put in because I didn't want it to be so heavy and I kind of wanted the waves to be a little bit more emphasized so that could be th a thing too but I have really been enjoying this but like I said I have the, the the nourishing styling cream which is the one that they do offer right now and I do really like that still but I'm gonna have to try that and just um, put that in my hair and let it air dry and see if I get the same results but otherwise I do really like this if you have a Marshalls near you definitely check it out it's a great value um, because I mean living proof in general is kind of expensive I did just buy a few living proof products so I'll probably uh, be hauling that really soon but yeah, if you can find them at your Marshalls, definitely check it out there. Um, and then the final product I have to share with you is a skincare item. And I actually got this in my FabFitFun summer box. Um, and I'll post that video if you guys are interested to see what else was in that box. Actually, that box was pretty awesome. There were a bunch of things in there that I really liked. But this one I've been using a lot. This is the Vaseline Intensive Care Spray Moisturizer. Spray Moisturizer. This is the Aloe Soothe one. And I do really like this because... I always like forget to put lotion on I I don't like that sticky feeling on my body especially out of the shower especially when it's hot I don't want to feel like there's lotion on me because it makes me like even hotter but this is like such a lightweight moisturizer it is a spray I have eyeshadow on my palm don't mind that um, it's a really light spray and it absorbs like super duper quickly and I just really like it the scent is really light and clean. I mentioned in that unboxing video, it kind of reminds me of Bath & Body Works old school fragrance, Cucumber Melon, which I know I think they just brought it back for their like semi-annual sale, but I don't know why they got rid of it to begin with because I know it was like a really popular scent, at least for me growing up in like high school and middle school and stuff like that. Like everyone wore Cucumber Melon. So that it kind of reminds me of that scent. It's just very clean and refreshing. Um, so yeah, definitely a favorite this month. I've been using this a lot and it doesn't leave me feeling like greasy and like hot and sticky feeling. So I do really like that. So that's it for my beauty and like makeup favorites this month. As far as um, TV shows, I recently started watching a new show that I have my cousin to blame for because she introduced me to it. It's not a new show. In fact, I don't even think it's airing anymore, but I had never watched it before. Before, and I watched a couple episodes at her house and I decided I had to download Netflix um, sign up for Netflix and continue watching it um, because I kind of want to see what happens and it's dropped at diva um, I I'd heard of it before and I kind of knew what it was about but it just didn't interest me at all I was just like eh, I don't know but like I said I watched a couple episodes at my cousin's house and I was like I need to know what happens and it's really entertaining it's like a really easy watch it leaves you feeling happy at the end like everything gets resolved within an episode which is nice sometimes and like I don't always want to have like a cliffhanger you know I love those like action suspense and like sci-fi tv shows as well but sometimes I just like something just really happy to watch as well and so that's kind of been a nice show for me 
to um, watch. I believe there's six seasons total and I kind of like getting into TV shows when they're already a few seasons in or even when they're done because I know I don't have to wait like a week in between to watch a new episode. Like I can watch it like straight. Like I can be doing house stuff and doing laundry and dishes and I can have this playing in the background and um, it's kind of fun. But yeah, that's it for July favorites. I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know down below what some of your favorites are as well as some of your favorite TV shows. Um, like I said, I just re-signed up for Netflix so if you have any suggestions for shows or movies to watch on there please let me know. I do have Orange is the New Black on my queue to watch because I've heard a lot of really great things about it. I've never seen an episode so let me know if it's worth watching. But yeah thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!